Hello friends, Jackie Ballheis from Comp and Stampers. I have another brand new bundle to share with you today. We've got the Tasteful Touches stamp set along with the dies that coordinate with it. Now the beauty of these dies is, sure they coordinate with this, but this is gonna be, oh, I'm missing a few because I have them set out there. But these are gonna be great dies that you're gonna use for all sorts of projects. They're not, you know, like specifically for this, but they've bundled them so you can save 10%. But wait, you want to save more than 10%. Don't forget about that awesome special going on for the month of June where you can select a free bundle of your choice when you join Stampin' Up. I'd love to share more about that. If you have questions, make sure to reach out to me. Best stampin' deal there is. I would love to have you join the Clomp and Stampers. And remember, there truly is no obligation or commitment. You don't have to do what I do. You can just come along, enjoy being a happy stamper, get that 20% off, get all my classes for free, and much more. Okay, I know, now I'm starting to sound like a commercial, and I hate sounding like that. So we're going to just flip this camera down and get stamping. All righty, we are going to be playing with some products in the good, it's called In Good Taste Suite. So we've got the stamp set, Tasteful Touches, and then these dies, like I shared, oh, I got three of them sitting here. Great, great die set. But what's really awesome as well is the paper, the designer series paper that goes with this. Now there's so many fun prints that rather than trying to share all the big ones, I cut small pieces with you. So we've got the wood grain and the tile, um, some kind of fabric and brick. Oh my goodness, I'm gonna be using a lot of this paper. And then look at all of these colors that actually coordinate with it that are in the papers. But you know what, you're not really limited to these because as textures, they're just gonna add that special touch to any card that you make. But I wanted to just show that to you. So let's go ahead and get this out of the way. And I wanna share a project with you today. Now, there's something special about this project and uh, let's, yeah, I'm just gonna tell you it right now. Now this card probably looks totally normal to you. You know, typically we cut a, a sheet of cardstock in half, either at the five and a half mark, or if we go the other way, the four and a quarter. And a card base would be five and a half by eight and a half. Well, this one happens to be five and a half by eight. So when I fold it up, it's only four inches wide. This is the same, but you, you really can't tell from looking at it. Now, the reason I did that is to make your designer series paper stretch and go a little bit further. You know, a 12 by 12 sheet, if you cut it at four inches and then at eight inches, you could get six card fronts out of it, which is, I'm gonna end up adhering this on like so. But if I cut it at four and a quarter, I'm only gonna be able to get two of them because, you know, Fives out by four, I guess. So that's why our card is just a smidgen smaller. No one will ever know, but your paper is going to go further that way. So let's set that aside because I'm going to stamp on here. Let's see. Let's get our stamps. Okay, so we're using the tasteful text or tasteful touches um, stamp set, and I just have the little I don't know what do we want to call it a leaf branch here. And I'm gonna just stamp a couple of these right directly onto that designer series paper. So something we don't really do that often, but it works perfect with this paper. Now next, we're gonna take some scrap paper and I've got Night and Navy. Um, now this is one of the, the colors that coordinate, but I could really use any color for this. And then we're gonna stamp this flower. And I think while I'm at it, we're gonna stamp two of them because I'm pretty sure I'm gonna use two. And then we'll go ahead and we'll use another piece of scrap here. And this time I've got basic gray. We're just gonna do all of our stamping and then we're gonna use some dies and do some fussy cutting. So you are special. Now what we're gonna do is we're actually gonna mix and match and we're gonna use three of the dies for this card. Now, unfortunately, the flowers um, don't have coordinating dies. It's only the greeting, well, in the greetings, they don't necessarily coordinate, they just fit with all those fun labels that you're gonna be able to use with all different ones. But what I'm gonna do is just fussy cut these two flowers and I will be right back. 
There we go. So we've got the two flowers. Now I'm going to go over to my die cutting machine and I am going to cut this one out with that piece. And then these other ones, we're going to use a basic gray. Okay, our greeting was stamped in basic gray. And then this bigger one, we're going to do Knight of Navy. So I'll be right back. Okay, we have got all kinds of parts and pieces going here. Let's get rid of that and that and that. Now, speaking of die cutting machines, if you have the new Stampin' Up! catalog, I'm sure you have seen and noticed that they do have a brand new die cutting machine in there. Now, when I record, am recording this video, it's not available yet. Um, I don't have an exact date for you yet, but as soon as it's available, I will absolutely let you know. Um, so I just wanted to make sure because I know a lot of you are seeing it. So I just used dimensionals and I popped up one on top of the other. And then these little pieces, I'm going to put just a little bit of adhesive there. I cut it in half and I'm going to just stick it out like so, just to add a, a little bit of, I don't know, what do you call it? Just a little more dimension. And I think, do we have room? Yeah. So we'll put half on each side of our label here. And let's see, we'll just kind of try to get them somewhat even. So it kind of appears like it's one great big long one there. So we'll put that there, like so. Actually, you know what? I got that on the wrong side. Huh. There you go. That stitching wasn't looking quite right. You know, that's part of the reason I really do like the liquid adhesive because I can slide it around and I can even peel it off before it dries. So there we go. We got that piece. Now I think we're ready to put together our card. So let's go ahead. We're going to put adhesive. Oh, I hate to cover up that nice wood. Um, you know, this paper, like I said, is fantastic um, just for all different textures to go with all different stamps you know I happen to be using it with the stamp set that is part of the suite but um absolutely doesn't just go with this it's gonna be great for all kinds of card making oh there is our label piece so what I'm gonna do is let's we already have some dimensionals on there so let's put some adhesive on there and we're going to just kind of know about centered I guess we'll put it right there and then we've got these fun flowers that we've cut out so let's put some dimensionals on the back of this now when I'm done with this card I have two other ones to show you to show you a few other prints um, from this beautiful paper and I think we'll go ahead oh we don't want to let's see let's go right there I didn't want to cover up that piece and Wanted to make sure we still saw our little banner and we still saw our little greenery. So you know what? Let's put this one on top. So we'll go right there with that one. So there is the front of our card. And then we're going to just go ahead and use, we'll use basic gray again. And then here is another stamp. So we always want to make sure we stamp the insides. So let's do that as well as a little flower right there. And then make sure you always stamp your envelopes as well. So let's go ahead and I think we'll do, might as well do two flowers on here. There we go. So there is our coordinating envelope. Quick and easy, but look at how fun that paper just adds so much to the card with really making an easy card. Now, I got two more to share with you. Fun part about the combination of this paper and the stamp set is you can make masculine cards or feminine cards. For the guys or the gals so here i use the feather and i did have to just fussy cut it here's another one of those stamps the good things in life are better with you as well as did the inside to coordinate and our envelope so there's our masculine version and then here's another feminine version where i use that same saying here i did use the very vanilla and um, we've got whites and vanillas in this paper so either one could you know i kind of debated here about white or vanilla so there now you'll see these couple of pieces that are cut out there from that forever ferns dies which i think i've told you probably a couple of times you're going to see me just using those pieces a lot for fill in with flowers so i really liked how that looked so it kind of contrasts with this one where i stamped on the designer series paper and again, just did the inside. So there are three cards using this beautiful designer series paper. This is a must have paper and I'm sure you'll use it a ton. 
So I hope you like the projects. Now, don't forget, this is a bundle, which means you can pick it up completely free if you join Stampin' Up! during the month of June. And I'd love to have you join the Clomp and Stampers and enjoy all the benefits. Not only the discount on all your products, but a lot more benefits as well. Love to share those with you if you have questions. So I hope to talk to you soon. And until I stamp with you again, have a stamp happy day.